It is Tuesday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys, and Happy New Year. Um, when you guys see this, it will be, I don't know, maybe about a week after the start of the new year. Um, but I haven't had a chance to say Happy New Year to you guys. So, Happy New Year. Um, this is our second day. No, this is our first day back home after vacation. And um, I am up early this morning. I wanna say it's around seven o'clock or so. So please pardon the sleepy look. Um, I am about to make me some coffee, drink me a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and, um, and I'm so ashy and dry. This house is so dry because it is so cold outside, guys. I looked at the thermostat this morning and it is a like it's like 13 degrees outside i don't know how those of you who live up north i don't know how you guys do it i'm cold i'm freezing we left um the day before we left in orlando i want to say it was like 75 80 degrees and now we're back home to these cold extremely cold temps so not really loving that but, so what i'm getting ready to do right now is make me some coffee, drink some apple cider vinegar, and work out. Whenever we go to Disney World, we, oh my gosh, the food there, there's so much food. The food is for the most part really amazing, and um, we really like to indulge, and sometimes we overindulge. And so I'm getting ready to work out and try to undo everything that um, I did to myself while on vacation. Um, I know it's freezing downstairs in the basement, but I gotta do it. So while my Keurig heats up or preheats, I wanted to know, raise your hand in the comments if you have already taken down your Christmas decorations. Ours are completely gone. Not sure if you can see. I'll give you guys a quick spin here in a minute, but our Christmas decorations are completely down, um, put up, stored away. Raise your hand also in the comments if your Christmas decorations are still up and you're not even gonna do it today. But here's a quick spin, Christmas tree down. You guys know we had decorated the kitchen also. All of those decorations are Put away they're back down in the basement i think the only thing that resembles christmas that is still up in our house is the wreath that is on the front door my workout attire this morning consists of um, some warm fuzzy socks until this floor warms up. As you guys know, we have concrete floors down here, some black uh, compression pants, and one of Eric's. Well, actually it's mine now because he gave it to me. This is one of his old um, t-shirts from Clemson. A Eric actually went to grad school at Clemson in South Carolina. And um, he's a little bit upset this morning because they actually played last night. They played Alabama. And according to him, they got their butts thrashed. <laughs> So fun fact, Eric and I met in college, not at Clemson. Um, we actually met at FAMU. I think a lot of you, a lot of the old subscribers know that Eric and I attended FAMU. And that's where we met. We actually met at a party and the rest is history. And um, after we graduated from FAMU, we moved in together. We shacked up and moved to South Carolina and attended graduate school. He, like I said, attended Clemson and I attended Commerce College in Spartanburg, uh, South Carolina. And we both got our graduate degrees. My workout for today is going to consist of 30 minutes on the bike, 30 minutes on the elliptical, that's that machine right there. And <clears throat> I think I'm going to start back doing my um, strength training. I used to be really good about doing my strength training, but in the last couple of months or so, I kind of fell off the wagon. But since it's the new year, 
I gotta get back on it. Um, you guys know as you get older, one of the most effective things you can do to really burn fat and just really stay healthy is making sure you do your strength training. <laughs> resolutions and I would say the majority of them are based on or centered around getting more healthy losing weight working out more so I wanted to know if you guys have any health related New Year's resolutions have you guys always been um, avid exercisers or do you plan on working out more in 2018 I have always worked out. I have actually had to. Um, not sure if it comes off on camera, but um, I'm a big, big chick. Um, not necessarily heavy, heavy, but my upper body is really big. And if I don't um, exercise and work out, it can get out of control. Yeah, I've always worked out. I wouldn't say it necessarily comes extremely easy for me. It's just become part of Eric's and I's lifestyle. As you can see, we have a whole room in our house dedicated to fitness because, you know, we just understand that if you're not healthy, you're not gonna be happy. And we really do try to be happy here in this house. But I just wanted to know what you guys' goals were um, in 2018 as it relates to health and fitness. Um, I'm gonna continue to work out, but what I really want to do is cut down on the amount of sweets and just bread and carbs that I consume on a daily basis. I love me some bread. I love me some cake, pecan pie, but I know it's not good for me all the time. So, my goal for 2018 is to have sweets one day a week, just one day a week. Before, I would eat it every day. After every dinner, I would have a dessert for the most part. So for 2018, I am going to cut out sweets seven days a week and only do it one day a week. Just have my, maybe my Friday, or Saturday whenever we go out, just get a dessert then. So I'm gonna get back to my workout. Let me know what you guys are doing. Like I said, hey, health-wise, fitness-wise in 2018. I'm getting out of breath cycling talking to y'all. guys my workout is complete I did an hour cardio that was 30 minutes on the bike 30 minutes on the elliptical and I did 15 minutes of strength training tomorrow I will probably do or try to do um, about 30 minutes of strength training all total but um, like I said we are just back from vacation and we have a lot of laundry to do and yes i know eric typically does the laundry but he needs a little help today we were there for um 10 full days plus the two travel days so if you can imagine we have 
so much laundry to do today. So I wanna go ahead and do that. Um, oh, but before I get started with the laundry, well, actually, yesterday we got started with the laundry, but we wanna finish up today. But I wanna color my hair. So before I take my shower, I'm gonna put a little color in my hair. Um, I love this particular color when I wanna go darker on my hair. It's a really natural looking black color. I actually have it in right now, but it's growing out a little bit, um, especially in the top. So I'm going to use this to freshen it up today. It is ammonia free. Um, it says color silk, beautiful color, three, 3D uh, gel color. And I picked this up at Target. It was around four bucks and inside you get your colorant uh what else do you get here you get your and guys please excuse my um vanity area here there are smudges and dust everywhere not sure if you guys can see that and i'm just making it worse sorry about that guys but the housekeepers are coming on thursday so please excuse that but you get your colorant here you have your cream developer you know you just snip the tip off of the bottle right there you have some conditioner and you of course get your instructions and there are some gloves attached to the instructions so that's what i'm gonna get ready to do here in just a second away the clothes I just prefer not to do it but I came down to the basement because I wanted to share with you guys a couple of projects that I have been working on for Watson and look this will be the last video that I talk about Watson and he not be in the video the countdown is on yes uh, for those of you who are like oh my gosh Tan we have been hearing about Watson forever we're over it where is he you may have missed a video, okay? I'll leave the link for that particular video below. And I talked about all the ins, the outs, the whys, the whys nots uh, as it relates to what the holdup has been, okay? But the countdown, like I said, is on. And that particular video, the link will be below. But I have really been diligently working on some projects for him to again, make sure his homecoming is amazing and that, you know, just as a household, we are, uh, uh, as a family, we are absolutely ready for him. This is going to be a really, just a different experience for us. You know, it's just the three of us here in the house. So we're bringing in something completely new and um, I want to make our adjustment as seamless as possible. So let me show you guys what I have made for him. I made him guys, these items right here. I made him these pillows guys. These are going to go in his crates. He has two crates. He has one in the mud room and one upstairs in Eric and I's room. I made him this throw pillow right here. It's actually going to act as a bumper for his crates. And all these pillows, guys, I made just using some extra fabric that I had just laying around. And I love it. It's like a fleece type 
fabric. Not as heavy as fleece, but just as warm and cozy. And I think it's going to be perfect to line his crates with, you know, during these winter months. And so to fill the pillows, oh my gosh, they're so soft. But to fill them, I use this polyester fiber fill. It's just like, like a cotton or something, I don't know. But it's really, really soft. And um, I purchased two bags of it. So one bag is completely gone. And um, I didn't use all that much of this one. I've actually made two other pillows. They are upstairs in his two crates. So I got quite a bit out of that first bag. These could be great pillows for your bed or you could make them smaller and place on your sofa. This is his crate cover, guys, that I made for him. Look at that. And guys, the crate cover fabric is the same fabric that I use to cover the bench here in the mud room. How stinking cute. Again, just extra fabric that I had here in the house. Kind of measured out the crate. And here it is. My seams, they're not perfect. Um, I could have tried to match the pattern up a little bit better, but um, I am extremely happy with it. It fits like a glove and um, I'll be able to take the fabric off if I need to, to wash it periodically. He has another crate the same size upstairs in Eric and I's bedroom. So I made one for up there also. And I'll go up and show you guys that one here in just a second. But here is one of those pillows that I made for him. It's lining the bottom of the crate. And as you can see, I've really tried to kind of stick with the colors and the patterns that we have here in the mud room. There is a little sleep teddy for him in there. And um, there is a throw pillow in there that I'm using as a bumper. Down in the basement, I told you guys that I, uh, or I showed you another one down there and what i did what i've done is just make multiples of as many things as i could so that when i was doing his laundry you know if something was in the dryer i could just you know pop in the replacement this is the crate that is upstairs in our bedroom um, i think i mentioned a few videos ago that watson is going to start out sleeping in here with eric and i and then eventually we will move him to the laundry room but this is his crate and I made everything in here with the exception of this particular blanket and his little sleep teddy. But these pillows, guys, aren't they so cute? I am so proud of myself. These cute little throw pillows that are going to act like bumpers here in his crate. There's another one there. This is another one of the pillows that is just sitting here in the bottom of his crate to keep him nice and toasty and just like the crate downstairs this one has a divider not sure if you guys can you know kind of pick up the divider but this right here is a divider um, kind of making his space pretty small just really nice and cozy so that he'll be able to come out when it's time for him to use the restroom but yeah this was really really simple to make just some really inexpensive fabric that i picked up from the fabric store sewed it together <laughs> even though uh the seams aren't um 100 flawless i think i did a pretty good job this is my first time making one of these so i am extremely happy with it it's going to keep him nice and cozy just really creating a really comfortable den for him when he comes home so cold guys i am at goodwill right now decided to leave the house and brave this cold atlanta weather today i i don't know when it gets cold outside i like to start doing little projects around the house so i'm looking for an old dresser today um i'm thinking about placing a credenza well a diy credenza down in the basement so let's go in here and see what we can find and it's really crowded today looks like too
share with you a few of the items that I picked up while we were vacationing at Disney World a few weeks ago. Was it a few weeks ago? Actually, it was like a week ago, barely a week ago, guys. We were um, at the happiest place on earth. We were there for 10 full days plus two travel days. So it was a really good vacation. And so like with, I'm sure you guys, when you travel uh, somewhere for vacation, you pick up little trinkets and little doodads to bring back home with you. And I like to do the same thing. So I'm going to quickly share with you a few of the items that we picked up while we were in Orlando. How cute is this little Mickey mug? You cannot go to Disney and not bring home a mug if you are a drinker of cocoa, coffee, or tea. All right, so I love this one. It's really simple. I love the little Mickey ears on it. It has like a high lacquer finish, really glossy all around. So cannot wait to have a nice cup of coffee in this particular mug. All right, and so this is the second mug that I picked up while vacationing at Disney. This one is, I don't know, this one's a little bit different from the mugs that I, tip, that I pick up when we go away to Disney. I don't necessarily get the villain mugs, if you will, but this one is Maleficent, Maleficent. <laughs> Say that three times fast, Maleficent, Maleficent, Maleficent. Um, but how pretty is that? The colors that they chose to use, I think, are beautiful and this particular mug is designed all the way around it has something featured all the way around the mug and this one I love the fact that it has a really nice handle a really good grip on it when I'm walking around the house drinking my um, hot coffee or my hot tea I don't hurt have to worry about spilling it because it has a really nice size handle on it so I'm really loving this one. So the final mug that I picked up is this one right here. Don't you guys just love the retro feel and look of this particular mug? I love that it's finished in white and like a really sunny yellow. Oh my gosh. Even though it's sunny here in Atlanta today, it is so freaking cold. So I'm really loving this one. It is just warming my heart today. It has really pretty polka dots on it and it's like a retro mini. All right. So this is Minnie Mouse. I love that it has her little initials on the inside and many lines. Like all of us, you know, whether you be male or female, we love a good shopping trip. And so on here looks to me that she has just returned from doing a little damage in the stores. So I'm looking forward to using this mug and adding all three of these to my Disney mug collection. If you have not seen my mug collection, I'll be sure to leave the link for the video where I shared. Um, I want to say I either shared it here on the uh, Unfrumpy Mummy Life channel, or it may have been over on the Disney on a Dime channel, but either way, I'll leave the link for that particular video below. And before I go any further with this video, okay, two disclaimers. I gave myself a chemical peel on night before last, and I am peeling like the bark off of an old pine tree, okay? Do pine trees have bark? I think they do my face is peeling. So if you see little pieces of whatever around my mouth and around my nose, don't worry about it, okay? It's just a chemi chemical peel that I gave myself and it's doing its job. No worries there. Also, yesterday I went to Goodwill and guys, I found the Goodwill find of Goodwill finds. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute the dresser that I picked picked up that I am going to restore and DIY and kind of turn into a credenza for the hallway down in the basement. So I'll show you guys that in a minute, but going on with the haul here, guys. All right, so up next, cookie cutters, Mickey cookie cutters, you get three. These were $12.99 and I didn't mention how much the mugs were just in case you got guys want to know because you can order the mugs online i believe all right so this retro one here the the gold the sunny yellow the white and the black this one was 13.99 so a really good deal on that one the maleficent mug was 15.99 the mickey mug was 19.99 all right so the cookie cutters these were $12.99. You get three cookie cutters in all. And guys, I am going to use these cookie cutters to make my little Watson's dog treats. I 
plan on making all of his treats here at the house because I really just want to monitor what it is he's eating and putting into his little system. So I plan on making all of his treats and I felt that these would be perfect. All right, and so sticking with Watson, how many of you, I don't know, like maybe if you go to Vegas or Orlando, you know they have the little tourist traps area, areas of town where they have a little, what do you call them? Tourist shops, I guess. So we don't typically go in there, but because this time of the year, it was the holiday season, it was Christmas, we like to do things that are kind of off of the beaten path while everyone else was at the park. We just took advantage of some of the other places in Orlando that people may not typically go to, especially the uh, veteran Disney travelers, and we like to call ourselves Disney vets. So anyway, we decided to, to just pop into one of, the little, one of the little tourist gift shops and I picked up this little magnet, all right? This is a doodle magnet. We picked up two, or I picked up two. It says, life's, life's better with a labradoodle. That's what we're getting. We already have one on our truck. Um, I have this one right here that I'm going to put on our car. And, oh my gosh, I have to run downstairs too and grab some of the other things. Um, that I purchased for Watson, if I can remember before this video is over. But all right, so moving on. We went to Disney Springs, formerly Downtown Disney, and they have a store there called Uniqlo. Very inexpensive. I wanna say it's like a Japanese type store, but they have um, not only Disney paraphernalia and items in the store, but they have just a host of other little fashionable items for a very good price. It reminds me of, H&M. All right, so I went in there, guys, and I racked up on t-shirts. All right, so I have t-shirts here in white. I have t-shirts here in gray. And I have t-shirts here in like a charcoal gray color. Oh, they are regularly $5.90. Guys, the day that we went into Uniqlo, these shirts were three dollars and eighty cents. Fourteen is what I left out of there with. Okay, fourteen shirts and all. All right, guys. So these next three items are jewelry pieces. They're just little fun jewelry Disney pieces. So nothing really expensive. I want to say none of the pieces were over thirty-five dollars. Okay, so nothing expensive at all. And um, it's sterling silver, I want to say, maybe, maybe not, but they do have Swarovski crystals. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first piece. First off, though, look at the, uh, the is this a jewelry box? A jewelry box or jewelry case that the piece comes in? Really pretty. This is a necklace, and this particular necklace was $29.99, guys. How cute is that? How stinking cute. I love that it has the Mickey ears and it has two circles around them. One circle is the silver and the other has um, the Swarovski crystals surrounding it. So really pretty. All right, this next one was $39.95. All right, so maybe this one was a little bit more than the others, but $39.95. I've actually already worn this one. So stinking cute, so stinking cute. This one has a picture of Mickey Mouse on and it. The last piece of jewelry is $29.95. Again, this, they all have the same pretty case. This one right here is a heart. Love it, love it, love it, it's a heart. My last few items. You guys know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, when we go to Disney, we cannot go to Orlando without going to our favorite Walmart. Those of you who have been long term, once again, long term subscribers to the channel, thank you guys so much. All of the new subscribers, welcome, 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 welcome. But I love to garden. So does Eric. Well, Eric likes to cut the grass, okay? I like to garden. Yard or gardening boots, my other ones, I've worn them out. They actually have a hole in the toe. And I'd actually purchased those from, my green ones, I got those from Amazon. And you know, I guess I could have ordered another pair, but why not go ahead and pick these up from Walmart since we were in there and they were four Fourteen dollars. Okay. All right. So again, it is extremely, extremely cold here in Atlanta, and I'm pretty sure wherever you are in the U.S., it's probably cold where you are too. So, what I like to do 
when it's cold outside is get nice and snuggly with some lounge wear. Well, Walmart guys had these really snuggly, warm fleece pajamas. These were $9 for the pieces, okay? So the top was $9 and so was the bottom. So 18 bucks, guys, for these really soft, snuggly, uh, you could sleep in them or just have them as lounge pieces for around the house, all right? The last thing I picked up, you guys are gonna be like, seriously, Tan? All right, this is a pajama set. It comes with the little warm, snuggly socks, but here's the catcher, okay? It's a 2X. I'm not a 2X, okay? but it was $5 for three pieces. You get the bottom, you get the top, <laughs> and the socks for five bucks on clearance. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get this. And on those days where it's just like super duper cold in the house, you know sometimes if you don't sleep with the heater on at night, the morning you wake up, it is like freezing. I'm gonna throw this on, on those days, okay? I'm not sure, can you guys see that? It's really bright in here. Do you see the colors on it? Oh my gosh, and it is so soft, guys. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> All right, so this is the dresser that I purchased yesterday at my local Goodwill. All right, and I won't even say local. The my local Goodwill didn't have any dressers so i had to leave and go to about four other ones before i found this now listen it doesn't look like much right now okay <laughs> eric was down here taking the handle off so that we can uh, replace the hardware and it fell apart as you can see there um it's a bit scuffed up it's a lot scuffed up actually right here as you can see it's missing a piece of the i don't know what would you call this the little piece of wood decor here it's missing a piece so i'm actually going to go ahead and take all of this off all right and um, again, all of the hardware is going to be replaced. But guys, this is a heavy duty, real wood piece, all right? When I tell you it weighs a ton, this thing is extremely heavy. All right, so I'm going to, con I've cleaned them up a little bit so far um, already, but um, I'm gonna do a little bit more cleaning to it. And then I'm gonna sand it down a little bit. And then I'm going to paint it, all right? So I am really happy with it. Did I tell you guys the price? $34, okay? $34, but here's the thing, okay? When I went into Goodwill, the, the, the Goodwill that I purchased this from, all right, this one was 34 bucks, but they did have one, another one, guys, $99.99. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Goodwill? $99, 100 bucks for something that somebody gave you for free. So while in there, myself and two other um, ladies were talking about just how Goodwill is getting really expensive. Now, you know, for myself and, you know, looking at those ladies as well and looking at what they were purchasing, you know, we weren't in Goodwill trying to find stuff for like, you know, clothes for our kids or something like that. There are people who go to Goodwill, guys, that really need this really need goodwill and I'm pretty sure you guys can attest to that. I'm sure we all know someone who really is in a situation where, you know, goodwill is the only option for them when they have to purchase things. I'm just in there crafting, okay? But I just feel for those people who have to really shop in goodwill for clothes and, you know, appliances or whatever, things that they really need to run their household and the prices are all jacked up. Um, we were all in there sh sharing stories about just how stuff in Goodwill has become so expensive. How can they sell stuff at these ridiculous prices when it's been donated to them, okay? They didn't pay for the stuff that's in the store. It was given to them. We've all given to Goodwill. So how are they now turning a profit from free stuff? So let me know below, guys, if you have run into the same situation in your local Goodwill are the prices just, you know, astronomical now? All right, so leave me a comment below. Well, that is it, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this very first 
weekly rewind and i will see you all in the next one bye guys